Good morning. I, I'm going to channel today in this video. Um, not going to lie, this is about the fourth one I've tried to make and nothing has felt right. And so I'm coming back home. I'm coming, Sekhmet, I'm coming back home to Egypt. Okay, she has to stay up. Hila, fierce compassion. I'll take a little bit of that right now. Okay, so I'm going to channel. I'm going to allow these cards, which are my safe space. It's a comfortable consciousness for me to tune into, to share. To share from this space. Okay, so second Let's start with second map. Transformation. Now let's find the doorway in. So we have this fierce consciousness of segments. She is the healer, but she's also known for her destruction. And that's the key to transformation, isn't it? Everything that once was must be broken in order for the new to arise so that she's riding the serpents serpents the snake the death rebirth the the beauty way soft belly on the earth vulnerability yet they're feared because they hold that deep wisdom the serpent energy moving up the spine and then the rising out from the like she has on her headdress wisdom holding wisdom and you can choose to fear that wisdom that is within you that's always trying to arise trying to slither up your spine in waves you can fear it you can block it at each of your energy centers or you can trust and you can allow and you can transform so segment allowing that transformation into a different frequency there <laughs> when we're inside it it's fierce from the outside but within there's compassion there's courage there's strength this is the energy of Sekhmet the fierce healer fierce Feminine, rising. Okay, let's move on. The number is relevant as well, the seven. Let's hold that. Sensuality, instinct, trusting your instinct. Okay, Bast, let's feel into her. Let's start with the knowledge and then feel where it leads us. So Bast appears when a rebirth is imminent. A rebirth is imminent. Something is about to shift and change. Um... And she appears because the birthing process is very feminine energy, very motherly, divine feminine energy here. And so that birthing process is an honour. 
it's a portal and it's something that needs to be felt it's something that needs to be instinctual so the message here is about trusting your instinct you know that something new is on the horizon and maybe you've been spiraling backwards forwards backwards 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 forwards for some time but it's right here feel into it use your sensuality your sensuality inside and outside so everything for me at the moment has its own spectrum the spectrum of sensuality you could go right into the distortion of it so sensuality has been connected with lust and sexuality in that distorted way um, but to be sensual is to be in touch with your senses to feel see hear and be awakened be electrified like you know that uh, cells electrons lighting up through those goosebumps <laughs> i'm hearing goosebumps like your nervous system just going yes so feeling into that and lead yourself through that sensuality towards that rebirth another important number 11. okay let's see what else we've got Two of my cats are in this room and i said that at seven seven <laughs> oh i love this stuff okay three have fallen out let's go sacred purpose okay sacred purpose with you in the center as anubis we have tar we have geb and nut newt Okay, so we have the Divine Mother, the Divine Father. You notice with ancient Egypt, the feminine is seen as the night sky and the masculine is seen as the father, the green man, Geb on the earth. And for me, what I take from this medicine, because their medicine is what it is, it's medicine is that all is within all. So we have divine and divine masculine energies and divine feminine energies. And we collectively, we see above as the masculine consciousness that comes down, that penetrates. And we see the feminine as the earth, as the life force energy, as, the, as Mother Earth as the um, the structure below us and her energy rises up. So above and below, positive and negative, you know, those energies are all within all. We contain them both. And then look, the serpent spiralling around the tree. The serpent in the rainbow serpent in this deck is also about Thoth. So it's about wisdom. Try and zoom that. And look, he's presenting Anubis, you. So Anubis represents the kind of like the Anubis is the consciousness of tuning into someone who has walked this path before us. So he is the he's the ultimate way shower. There is so much to learn from connecting with Anubis energy. He's the high priest. He's the shaman priest. He has traversed both worlds. He has been left in the wilderness as a baby. So he has had to heal himself. He has walked this path. He is the wounded healer and he ascended himself. 
into this position of heart consciousness, divine union within. So much to learn from that, however that medicine sits with you. And so this is the key to the sacred purpose. And then Ta, Ta, however you wish to pronounce that, he is the breath of creation that is within us. So again, for me, that's feeling quite masculine in the sense that masculine energy is about focus and drive and goals, but it takes the feminine energy in all its glory to breathe it into those creations. Okay. Wow, another, no way. Okay, so we've got, so in this deck, there's a part of it that is um, the individual energies and then they, they, they pair, they group them. This is the Anubis Oracle by Linda Scully. No, Nikki Scully. Nikki Scully and Linda Starwolf. It's just been such a teacher to me, this deck. Okay, so placing down sacred purpose. Sacred purpose. Okay, that's what's coming in your, your rebirth. Sekhmet, fierce healer, transformation. Fast there to witness your rebirth bringing her instinct and her sensuality to just let you feel and just know that it's coming and you can do it. Okay, <laughs> uh, next one I picked up was this one, the sacred relationship. So we've just touched on that a little bit. So above, below, sacred relationship for me is union. It's union within, okay? And what this card shows us is the opposites. You have Horace and Sobek, Sobek. And they are the opposites in reconciliation. So, you know, the, the light and the dark, how would we relate it in our world? We would relate it as the light and the dark. And look, you can see, so Horus, the, the bird, so the above, the vantage point of the hawk. And then Sobek is kind of like the alligator. So he has the vantage point of the, the, uh, the lower world under the depths, deep in the depths. And so imagine bringing that together. You dig deep, you in the muddied water with this higher vantage point. So it's like knowing what's coming, that rebirth, and then deep down doing the work. And then, like the lotus flower, Egypt, the lotus flower, when it's ready, it comes up and blooms. There's that rebirth. And so Sek Sekhmet is with us again. She's overseeing here. She's overseeing. And she was the first card. So she is overseeing this transformation that you are going through. We had the Sphinx in the center, cosmic wisdom, earth altar, connecting with the earth, reminding ourselves that we are earth altars too. We are connected to the earth and able to receive cosmic wisdom. She has five, I'm saying she today, sometimes I say he, sometimes she, androgynous, five, five pointed stars around her. And she invites you down into her cosmic library. And kind of this is the, the womb space. And then Kunum, Num, Kunum, he is reshaping you. You are consciousness of Num and you are reshaping yourself. Okay, so you pulled yourself apart probably. Life has pulled you apart a little bit. And he brings all the elements in, the sacred elements of fire, water, earth, air. And he asks you how you need to reorganize those principles, those qualities within yourself to now step into your new rebirth self. Overlooking on the jar, is it heart? Yeah, is Kefra. Kefra is the spiral dancer and Kefra's role is allowing just the right amount of light to pour in for you. 
being held as you rebuild and transform yourself. Okay, and entering the mystery. Okay, the next great round. So this comes after your rebirth. So we have, look, Isis, Nephsis, the sisters, the lunar, the solar, Nekbet, Mother Moot, above the divine grandmother energy. She is like the ultimate divine grandmother energy. That's what she represents, her consciousness, the condor, the vulture, the... Like that all is in all, she is the feminine in the sky. She is the wise bird, feminine wisdom, crone energy. And for me, what that brings is like, after this rebirth, you're not going to give a hoot about anything. Nothing is going to stop you. You are. You've been through this path. You've been her. You've been her. You've walked the path with... The sun, you've walked the path with the moon, you've embodied the moon, you've embodied the cycles, you've embodied your cycles, you know inherently how to connect with the cycles of the moon, of the sun, of the earth. And you know how to harness that as a great skill. But you also know that the sun brings in life force energy. And look, all the elements are present as well. The earth, the water, the fire, the air and the sky. And the dove, look, the dove is symbol, it symbolises you as the, the initiate. Okay, so you're going from one initiation to another, but this next one isn't hard. This next one is you have done so much work. And the foundations from this moment on, they're not like the past. They're strong. They're from a different frequency. Okay, one more for closing. Mm, this has been good. <laughs> Always come back to these cards. Closing. I knew it was going to be Anubis. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Right. Look. Tree of life. Okay. Star at the top. Bast overseeing the rebirth. Hanging upside down. Seeing life from a different vantage point. Like the bat. Like leaving the womb from the tree of life osiris under the water osiris who has remembered himself through the help of the divine feminine through the help of isis and nephsis who were with us in the last card yeah that big this is the foundation this divine feminine of crone energy where you are that kind of yeah i've got gray streaks in my hair i don't care your comments anything anymore does not affect me my my self-worth i don't even know how to not value myself anymore that's the energy imbued through all of this feminine that has been in this reading sekhmet bast Newt, Sekhmet again, even the Sphinx coming through as a divine feminine energy, the earth energy. And then this one confirming it, entering the mystery of the divine feminine on a different framework. A framework that you're kind of like, these issues of life, they're not going to be the same anymore. And here you are rebirthing and Osiris remembered put back together by that divine feminine energy and this is what you're birthing into as as anubis as the way shower as the person who has walked this path 
gained the scars, gained the experiences, gained the wisdom <laughs> to just be strong, unfaltering. There aren't any more words coming. Enjoy your wise rebirth. Okay, thank you. Share, comment, do all that stuff that I'm supposed to say as a way shower and join me again next week. Share with me if you would like me to talk about something. It will really help. This, this container that I'm creating is a little bit out of my comfort zone because you, normally I have energies, I have people to tune into and it starts to happen before they arrive. Whereas with this, I'm like, hmm, okay, what are we doing? <laughs> and that will build. This is me rebirthing myself. Um, but if, you know, look, let's do this as a community. If there's anything you want me to bring through, if you, if you really enjoyed that and you want me to do a channeling every week, a, a reading every week, then let me know. Comment on the video, comment on the on my blog page, comment wherever you've seen this so I know where you've seen it as well because that's really helpful for me. Um, yeah, okay. Just going to show you these two again. They want to just end the video. <sighs> Strong. Feline energy. Courage. Enjoy. <laughs>